Guys, the new Black Panther trailer dropped. It is absolutely incredible. And there's a ton of cool little tidbits of information in there. So I definitely wanted to break it down and get into all the dopeness. Let's talk about it. What is up, YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. Hey, real quick, if you love the MCU like I do, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be covering all sorts of stuff coming out of the MCU as we head towards Infinity War and beyond. Oh, and real quick, shout out to Keyblader1234, who got the nerd card question correct in my last MCU video, which was ironically about... Black Panther. Oh, and real quick, to all of you that watched that video and got on my case about the Tony Stark thing, yeah, I was probably wrong. And I'm going to explain that in the video. There's a moment. We'll get to that in just a second. But I'm going to pull up this trailer right now, and we are going to break this thing down because it is fan-freaking-tastic. And like I said, there's a lot of cool stuff to glean from it. So here we go. Okay, so first of all, you got him flying right here, right? The ship. But I, I think it's like really important to note that they're actually flying low, right? They're flying in this canyon around where all these waterfalls are. And we see later on in the trailer that there's this part where like this water is sort of disappearing and being drained out and pushed over the cliffs. So I don't know, maybe part of the city is like underwater sometimes. I don't really understand. But this, you know, you can't just have a spaceship flying over the continent of Africa. So it was probably cloaked as it came in. And then as it got a little bit closer, perhaps uncloaked, but it is definitely flying low. So. Okay, so you also have Martin Friedman here sort of, you know, talking about the MCU tie-ins. He's seen gods fly, he's seen aliens come out of the sky, and he's never seen anything like what he sees from Chadwick Boseman. And uh, that's pretty cool, kind of contextualizes it. It's definitely MCU, we know it. Now check this out. This is not Black Panther's squad, okay? This, my theory is that this is Killmonger's father. Okay, this right here is definitely the armor. If you look at these people, we'll see it later in the trailer. These are the not the Dora Milaje. These are men, and I think they work for Killmonger or Killmonger's father. I think that this will be sort of a flashback because I don't think that's Michael B. Jordan back there, but we'll keep going. Right, he's seen aliens. This looks to be a ship where they're dock or a place where they're docking the ships. Very, very cool. Tons of cool ships. What more are you hiding? And then you see that grin on T'Challa's face, man. This is so priceless because he knows he's hiding so much stuff. And I'm really interested here. What did he just show him? Because it can't be something real crazily advanced, right? I mean, maybe like a cloak or like a different like facial thing going on or something. Because this is in the place where they're interrogating Claw. So this is like at the beginning of the last trailer where Claw and Martin Freeman are talking about Wakanda. So I'm very curious to see what did he do to shock him like that. The music kicks in. I mean, I love the style. Shit. Okay, now this too. I just want to briefly say here. This to me, although they're just going through like a cloaking thing here, I think this is way more than cloaking. I think this is some kind of a guard against like radiation scanning or however people might be able to find Wakanda. I think you have multiple layers of a force field that is preventing that from being done, which is pretty cool. Like, check it out. So, you know, boom, 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 boom. Like it goes through all those layers. Oh, and check this out. She's flying the ship with her hands. I mean, this is insane. Like the, the technology here is really, really crazy. She's flying the ship with her hands. There's a shot later too where uh, I think someone's driving a car remotely sort of using the same tech, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay, you see part of the city there, the ship landing. The Dora Milaje doing their signal. That's his mom, you know. It's it. Okay, so this is what I was talking about before with all the water sort of being drained, right? So I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. It could just be another like moment or, or a way for them to hide things from Wakanda. I, I don't really understand. This to me looks to be like some kind of a training session or something like that. You have It looks like a lot of the similar people that were watching before. Perhaps like this is where he earns the right to be the Black Panther or something. It looks like he's fighting off against several guards. I think this is his sister Shiri here. This could be a flashback though. I really, I really don't know. But uh, she's telling him he gets to decide what king. 
what kind of king he's going to be. This is definitely his sister, Shiri. Okay, now, here's the, here's the thing, guys. So, I said in that video about Tony Stark that Tony could have helped T'Challa maybe get a new suit. And everyone's like, why would he need Stark tech? Ra, ra, ra. I don't think he needs Stark tech. What I'm saying is Tony is a better builder than T'Challa. And I can 100% prove it in this shot. So, check this out. This is Black Panther's sister, Shiri. And recently, there's actually an article on Nerdist that I think went up a couple days ago. Recently, Ryan Coogler was talking about how Shiri is a master genius builder that is on par with Tony Stark. She is the person that built this new suit, okay? Black Panther is not a builder the same way that Shiri and Tony are. He's a king, he's a warrior, and he's probably pretty good with the tech, but he's not a builder. Wakanda is definitely way more advanced than anything that Tony Stark has. But I guess what I was trying to say in that video was, this advancement in the tech that was already there has to do with a builder. It has to be somebody whose innate ability of tinkering and improving is there. Black Panther doesn't have that ability. I'm just, I'm sorry, he just doesn't. But it think, what we're seeing here is that his sister does. She is the person that gave him this new tech. She makes those crazy gauntlets that she had in that trailer beforehand. And she's also gonna be in Infinity War. So the girl's got major game and she's probably gonna be helping out to make advancements in a lot of the armor for the Avengers in Infinity War, but I wanted to kind of drop that. There's also a moment coming up where I knew I was dead wrong about Tony having any sort of tech that could touch what they have in Wakanda. We'll get to that in a second. This I think is a ship, and I think that Black Panther is getting dropped out of here, throwing some like Panther Batarang type things and taking out these vehicles. And it looks like he does interfere a little bit with bad things that happen in Africa. So, you know, going around in a ship, being dropped out, sorry, being dropped out and stopping that crime or whatever. This shot right here is Killmonger breaking out Claw. And the business here, like if we go back here, I think this is the same room he's being interrogated by um, Martin Friedman. So perhaps something happens there and uh, they all kind of, the inciting incident happens with all the main characters in the same room. That would be kind of crazy, right? But um, either case, I think um, Andy Serkis and uh, Brian, Michael B. Jordan are going to be working together, not because they need to be allies, but because they have a common enemy in Wakanda and the Black Panther. Let's keep going here. Getting shot, stop, I think those are like warlords. Okay, so we gotta stop here. I believe this is Necropolis, okay? I think this is the dead city or the city of the dead. And I think that this is going to be the way that they introduce speaking to the ancient Black Panthers. In the comic books, everyone who has ever been a Black Panther kind of becomes like a force ghost of sorts. And they are able to give counsel and pass on wisdom to whoever the current Black Panther is, okay? So I think that is what we're seeing here. Like these Panthers in the tree, I think these are ancient Black Panthers. Maybe even T'Challa's father is up there, right? And he's going to uh, basically convene with them, ask them questions, try to get advice. So I think uh, it's possible they even anthropomorphify these things where the Panthers morph into a human. That would be pretty interesting, but I think that's what we're seeing here. It looks beautiful, by the way. Okay, that's the shot I was talking about. The purple tech, which I think is like a Shiri thing. Right here, she's like driving, and I can't tell. I can't like tell out the window if she's actually driving or not. But my theory here... Okay, it looks like she is. So my theory is that she's like either hacked this car or she's like putting some kind of an advancement or something into the car. It's it's It looks so bizarre, but uh, that's the kind of like tech that she uses. So I think that she's the person behind him here and uh, it's gonna help them fly. Maybe it transforms, right? Maybe the car transforms into a ship. Now, right here, we get Michael B. Jordan standing in the flames. I think he's literally burnt down a part of Wakanda or maybe some kind of uh, a place where they hold stuff that's outside of Wakanda. But this is it, man. This is where he's like, he wants to burn the world, man. He's waited his entire life for this. That right there is uh, looks to be uh, Killmonger 
and Claw finding some piece of Wakandan tech in an ancient museum. And look at the face here. Claw is like fired up. This might have been the thing that he had that they took back from him or maybe the thing that branded him or something because he's like, he's pissed here. Uh, but they definitely need this. Maybe it's a battery source or something. The world is starting over. The world is going to burn it all, right? Ah, oh, that's so crazy. Wakanda Tech is that good, by the way. He could literally end the world with it. Okay, now this is the shot I'm talking about. When I saw this shot, I was like, damn, I was wrong. Tony Stark can't touch what they have in Wakanda. This is crazy symbiote type stuff, right? We're doing this car flip shot again. Looks like this is something that Claw like blasted the ship up. Or the uh, car up, rather. And then you have them fighting in what might be Necropolis. Wakanda forever, baby. Okay, let's uh, let's stop here. So right here, this is the the guys from the very beginning of the trailer. This is the guy that was standing there or sitting there with those people around him. And my theory right here is that this is actually Killmonger's father. And I think what happens, if I'm unless I'm mistaken. In the comics, his father tries a revolt, and then he and his whole family are sort of exiled from uh, Wakanda. And so they try this revolt, and then they get exiled. And I think that's why Killmonger, Eric, is has such a vendetta against them. He thinks they should be using this tech to probably subjugate, not just hide, right? So that's what I think is going on here. Let's have some fun. Blam! Frickin' claw using some of his tech, and then, and then, that looks like Times Square too, or uh, something like that. Then you get the purple vibes here. Okay, so check this out. I do not think this is the same armor that I broke down yesterday. Is it similar? Hell yeah, but there's no insignia on the third eye. And I think what's gonna happen is he'll walk into Infinity War in this suit and then Shuri will get him an upgrade, maybe while she's working with Tony Stark, and she'll get him an upgrade which will be a more advanced version of this suit, which looks incredible. Love it, love the way they use the text here and the glowing and the hieroglyphics and everything like that. Very, very interesting. Okay, last thing I want to say, because I think that trailer is just fantastic, but Andy Serkis was talking about Claw, and he said, all the best villains think they're heroes, which is absolutely true, and he basically was talking about how Claw wants to expose the hypocrisy of Wakanda. Now, if you go all the way back and watch the breakdown I did of the original Black Panther trailer, one of the things I said in that trailer was, it. If I was someone in Africa and I found out about this incredibly science fiction level advanced culture right there on my continent and there's a ton of really poor countries in Africa, I would be super pissed. I'd be like, why aren't you helping Africa? You're hiding away. You're keeping all this tech to yourself. You're incredibly Zionistic, man. What are you doing? Help us. And I think that you know, if Claw is from South Africa in the MCU, because he's got like an accent, right? That's kind of, it sounds South African to me. So if Andy Serkis and Claw are literally saying that he's he is one an African that was like, yo, why aren't you using this tech? That would be pretty compelling. I also think it's always fun to really test the morale of a thing, right? How just is Wakanda? And remember, T'Challa's father wanted them to join the world. In Civil War, they are decided to step out of the shadow and start to actually join the world. Now, they were keeping a lot of their tech under wraps, but they were coming out. They were coming out to try to maybe even help the world. And so now T'Challa has to try to navigate that and see if he wants to actually do that. How do his people feel about that? It's very, very interesting. But I'm just, I'm saying all that to, I guess, say that I'm actually more excited for Black Panther than I am for Thor Ragnarok. Because Ragnarok, although it looks great, kind of seems like just a popcorn fun ride. It's typical kind of Disney Marvel stuff and I'm looking for a little more stakes. I want some more weight on the main character. I want serious conflict. I want great villains and I think we are going to get all of that in Black Panther. This will be a lot of people's first real introduction to the first black superhero in comics and an incredible African hero that does great stuff with the lore and the philosophy 
of Africa. So I'm super excited for people to get exposed to this. It seems really, really cool. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about the trailer? Is there anything I missed? Um, would love to have a conversation with you guys about that in the comment section. All right, let's check that nerd card really quickly. I want to know, what is the name of Eric Killmonger's character in the comic books? What did they call the character that he is? As I always say, I hope you are having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya! Thank you.